All right, everybody, settle in, because there is some serious drama unfolding here. Tamar Braxton got dumped by Jeremy Robinson, and this is barely a year since he proposed to her during the season finale of the Queen's Court dating series. Well, y'all know Tamar Braxton isn't the type to run away from drama, so she's calling Jeremy out, accusing him of using and then dumping her and then lying about what caused the breakup. So Jeremy took to Instagram, to say that he was ending the relationship with Tamar by saying, so many questions, so many assumptions. I want to answer all that I can with respect. Yes, Tamar and I are no longer together. I ended the relationship to focus on getting back to positive energy and being a better person. What happened and why? That's our private place. No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized. And honestly, it looks Looks like their relationship has been over for a while. Tamar hasn't posted him and she unfollowed him a while back. And when she launched her new YouTube series, Days with Tay, the only person missing from it was Jeremy. Well, as for why this relationship ended so soon, honey, let me tell y'all, there could be a number of reasons. From Tamar's messy history with love to Jeremy's serious commitment issues. You see, before Tamar got together with Jeremy, she was married to Vincent Hebert but called it quits after nine years of marriage. And she alleged that her ex-husband physically and emotionally abused her. She filed for divorce and obtained a restraining order against him. And they both agreed to co-parent peacefully without drama. And in 2018, while the divorce proceedings were on, Tamar found love again with David at Efeso. Now Tamar was almost inseparable from David, who's a financial advisor. And despite her revealing that she does not want any more kids, she changed her mind after she met David. And everybody believed their relationship was good until the trailer of her reality TV show, Get Your Life Dropped. Tamar had a major breakdown and she felt like she was misinterpreted and portrayed in a negative light. She didn't handle the whole trailer thing well and it almost pushed her into a depression. It got so bad that David once found her unresponsive in their home and this led to Tamar being hospitalized and transferred to a mental health facility. Days after, in an Instagram post, she openly shared her 11 year struggle with pain while working in the entertainment industry as a reality TV star. She detailed some of the experiences of betrayal, being taken advantage of, and feeling overworked and underpaid. She also praised David for his support and thanked him for saving her life. But in a very surprising turn of events, she broke up with David days later, and inside sources revealed that she had a really heated argument with David on their way to the mental health facility. Now this really shocked fans because she'd been praising him on Instagram just a couple days before that. But it got even more shocking when we found out that David had gotten a temporary restraining order against Tamar. Tamar was single for some time, but then she got fans talking when a video with her and a mystery man hit the internet. Now the man in the video was Jeremy Robinson, and when fans dug into his life, they found out that he obtained his GED while in juvenile detention. He joined the Marine Corps in 1995, and while in the Marine he earned a combat strike flight air medal for his service in Operation Iraqi Freedom. And he ran a successful law firm. But honey, while his professional life was great and all, when it came to his personal life, it was very messy. Turns out, Jeremy is the father of five children from four different women. And get this, two of the kids were born in the same year, which means this man was sleeping with two different women at the same time. Now we all know no, too many baby mamas means way too much drama. Like on her birthday, Tamar publicly celebrated Jeremy on her Instagram page, saying that it took her some time to grasp the existence of wholesome, traditional love. Just the beginning of your birthday, but we're gonna have fun uh, in New York and Miami and Atlanta. <laughs> Here's to 46, let the fun begin. <laughs> 
Happy birthday to me. Adding that Jeremy's five children hold immense significance in her life. And then she appeared in an interview where she talked about her engagement. She talked about getting married to Jeremy and she said she doesn't think she wants to have kids because they have six among them and taking care of those kids is what matters. Well, I just want to ask girl, can I be a flower girl? You absolutely can. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I can't wait to just walk down out throwing the petals. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to have a big wedding. Oh, what about some babies? Oh, yeah, I think that train is passed. <laughs> One of Jeremy's baby mothers was not going to allow Tamar to talk about her kid. She accused Tamar of causing chaos and drama in their lives for over a year. Aniston Jenny claimed that Tamar made disrespectful comments about her co-parenting with Jeremy and caused him to miss visitation, weekends, and birthdays. Also, Jeremy had been accused of having a fetish for black women. One of his baby mamas exposed him and said that he often refers to himself as light-skinned, white chocolate, and often says that he's the minority within the minority. And one of Jeremy's sugar babies also exposed him for using Tamar for fame. This person said, I met her fiance off a dating app and we started off from there. He's a lawyer out here in Atlanta and he spends big bags to say the least. His type is young, pretty black women. He started taking me on dates and occasionally giving me an allowance allowance, bags, and rent. This was also very recent, so I'm gonna say this proposal to Tamar seems very fishy and not genuine. He's also getting exposed by other women, which isn't surprising to me at all. Under my assumption, he is definitely using Tamar to get famous, and it's clear as day. Tamar, you're in danger, ma'am. And now that Jeremy has decided to dump Tamar, it isn't all that surprising. Because let's be real, as much as I hate to say it, I mean, we all saw it come. There were lots of people also accusing him of cheating, to which he responded, No, I never cheated. No, I wasn't there when she was at her mother's place when her car was burglarized. No, I never cared about fame. Who reveals the most embarrassing moment in their life to find fame? I have always represented famous people, and the truth is, I was in an amazing place, financially and mentally. I turned down Queen's Court severely before I gave in. Ultimately, I fell in love. It did not end how I wanted, so I want to heal. Tamar and I will always be friends and family for life. Thank you for respecting our privacy. Well, nothing has been confirmed, but fans think that Tamar saw through Jeremy's BS. He was never serious about this relationship and was really only cloud chasing. The news of Jeremy breaking up with Tamar did not come as a shock to fans, because many fans predicted this a long time ago. They believed a man with four baby mamas and five kids has some serious commitment issues, and it was only a matter of time before that relationship ended terribly. But there are several people who are saying maybe Jeremy just couldn't stand Tamar because we all know she can be a lot. One user said, not surprised. Anyone who can put up with Tamar for two seconds deserves a gold medal. Nothing good ever comes from a rushed relationship. It's the, I ended the relationship to get back to positive energy, then gives the backhanded compliment about how their friends and family sounds like the language of a narcissist. At Tamar Braxton, her prayers to you. So, do y'all think Jeremy dated Tamar because of the fame that he wanted? Or do you think that the relationship really just didn't work out? Sound off your thoughts in the comments down below, and don't forget to be on the lookout for my next very messy video.